And the reason why we've lost this country is because Republicans have not made it a priority to go back into the inner cities and clean up the narrative that they are not racist. But even on the Republican side, let, let me talk about the Republican side for a minute here. Because a lot of them want to say, and you've seen it, I know you've seen it, all of us have seen it in the comments. Yeah, we like Royce and what he had to say, but he supported Black Lives Matter and he led those George Floyd protests. That's why they put a picture of, of me writing George Floyd on the side of my head at the big three. They want, to dis, they want to disconnect me from the growing nationalist populist movement by saying that I'm a BLM, uh, uh, you know, I'm a BLM supporter. I never supported BLM. I went to, I did what many Republicans have forgotten to do, ha, have, have lost a sense of ministry, ministry. The liberal movement, the neoliberal movement has pushed conservatives out of the metropolitan areas, and the conservatives believed that if they ran to the suburbs, liberalism wouldn't follow them. And the reason why we've lost this country is because Republicans have not made it a priority to go back into the inner cities and clean up the narrative that they are not racist. Some of that may be because there is some racism left in the Republican Party. Some of it may be because they just are afraid of the liberal movement. Or, or being called racist. All of those things are a possibility. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid to go into the heart of the north side of Minneapolis where crime is the worst and say, you've been lied to. That's why they're afraid of me because they know I'm not afraid like some of my other Republican counterparts to go into these places that have been abandoned by the genuine conservative nationalist American platform and movement and candidates. That's why they're attacking me. And you know, what's, what, you know what else? That's why the NBA wanted me out. Because they knew. And clarify the NBA, why would they fear? that They fear you as a symbol that may, uh, again, may lead the players the direction they're uncomfortable with? No, 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 no. They fear the truth. They fear anybody who will speak the truth unadulterated with no pretense. All of the people who are speak who speak out in the NBA, they're only willing to go a certain a certain to a certain level. And Enos, re remember now, I talked about the Uyghurs in 2019. Enos just started talking about China this year. They were afraid that a young player like me, who was not going to be bought and paid off was gonna have an infectious quality on other athletes who had the potential to rise up with their platform and be genuine leaders against their globalist establishment movement. And in that, you can throw in the commentators around the game, like a Reggie Miller, Stephen A, or anybody else. They're all in on it in my eyes. And I'm calling all of them to action. Stand up, tell the truth.